To this now, Glencore reported a decline in metal production for the first nine months of the year, but remains confident in meeting its full-year targets. Moreover, cobalt output dropped 18% to 26,500 tons, while zinc and nickel fell by 4% and 9% respectively. In addition, the company still anticipates trading profits between $3 billion and $3.5 billion, aligning with its long-term guidance. Analyst Melon Banjo offers insight on Glencore's performance. For the most part, this was an impressive outcome for Glencore. Um, third quarter performance did not detract from the group's full year guidance. So, you know, guidance was maintained. Another impressive outcome was that marketing adjusted EBIT or marketing profit uh, is expected uh, to range between 3 to 3.5 billion, which is pretty much at the top end of the long term. Uh, you know, EBIT guidance range of 2.2 to 3.2 billion. Uh, from a production standpoint, production uh, and uh, copper assets uh, pretty much maintain the same run rate um, that we saw in the first half um, with some recoveries at important uh, operations, uh, which were communicated in the first half as well. Um, we also uh, saw uh, a 7% uh, boost is sequentially in nickel production.